Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can install free hosting control panel that is AA panel on our VPS. So I have had this fresh VPS with CentOS 8 installed and I have nothing here. So if I open the IP of my VPS that you can see 45.45.219.169 if I open this IP in a web browser you will see nothing is opening okay so it's a fresh installed and we have nothing on this VPS and we are going to install this free hosting control panel AA panel so first thing we need to do is we need to log in into your our VPS via SSH and uh, as a root user so login as root and enter your password okay now first thing we need to do is we need to update uh, now let's see what operating system we have on this VPS so run command cat slash etc slash sent us dash release and you will see that we have installed I have uh, the CentOS uh, 8 installed on this VPS. So first we need to update this VPS OS. So run command EM update and this will update the OS. So this is going to take few minutes and I'm going to pause this video here and we will be back once this update is completed. Okay, so uh, we have successfully updated uh, OS that is sent to us 8 of this VPS. Now, uh, let's go back to this A panel website that is apanel.com and let's see how we can install this A panel on our VPS. So, scroll down and uh, uh, you will find here install some instruction for different operating system since I am using CentOS version 8 and this command will work on CentOS 7 as well as on 8 so I am going to copy this command so click copy this icon and in our terminal just paste it and I can also remove this last word that is a panel and press enter to start installation so this is again going to take few minutes and i will pause this video here and just press y when asked we will keep things default so just press y when asked okay so i'm going to pause this video now and we will be back once the installation is completed we can see that installation is completed and here you can see the message constellation installed is installed successfully and below this line you will find these four lines these four lines are very important because it contains your login address and username root the main username and password and this, took, this is also showing the time taken to complete the installation of the A panel. So copy this internet address. Okay. And open this in our browser. Okay. Now copy username. Okay. And then copy password and login so this is <laughs> okay so on first uh, login you will see this message that what package you want to use on this VPS either you can use this uh, LMMP that's uh, is basically it's uh, uh, NGINX version and this is uh, Apache version 
rest i think everything is same okay so for this in this tutorial i'm going to use this linux so we have apache 2.4 and then my squirrel 5.7 but i'm going to use uh, media db 10.4 and uh, i'm going to use php 7.4 then php my 5 and dns server three okay we can actually you have to tick mark here so i'm going to tick mark here and i'm also using mail server so just check the two options if you want to use dns server and you want to make you want to use email service and uh, click this button on one one click and this will take uh, some time uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to complete every installation so i'm going to pause this video once again and i will be back when this installation is completed okay so now we can see that we a panel has successfully installed apache and uh, this media db and uh, php 7.4 and uh, php my admin and ftp server so now we can start using a panel to host our website so to host our website simply click uh, this website and from here you add a new website so in the next video i will add a new website and will show how we can host our website using this e-panel i will also show you how we can configure our dns so that our domain wants to this vps this ip so thank you for now